last time on Earthbound, we did surprisingly well. I was not expecting to beat Atomic Ant. I was not expecting to beat the policeman. Um, so far things have went in my favor. A whole lot better than I thought they would have. Did have to do a little bit of leveling up, but you know, nothing too bad. So, we are now in the town of Tucson, looking for Paige. I know where she is, I'm pretty sure, if my memory serves me correctly, but we're gonna wander around for a bit. Do I have a mushroom on my head? Actually, you do. I, I, I was wondering what that was. That's what I thought. Recently, I couldn't walk quite right. I, I think it's because of this mushroom. It's actually kind of fun, though, so I think I'll leave it there. Okay. If you say so. What? So, what? Huh? Pardon? Jeez. Hmm? You're annoying. Dang me. Yeah, yeah. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Hey, you. Later days, pal. Are, there, are these Beatles references? Ah, ha, ha, ha. It's so hot today. It rocks. Is it cold today? Oh, ho, ho, ho. See ya. Here, get yourself a juice or something. Ka-ching. Yes! Fifty dollars. Good luck, okay? Oh, that's nice. I honestly didn't know he was going to do that. So, fifty dollars. Hmm. That's more than just a juice, buddy. It's a tonic and juice. Let's go see if we can find the store in this town. I want to see how much the uh, equipment here costs. You must be quite a rich boy to stay at such a nice first-class hotel like this one. Nope, we're just sneaking in here. Oh yeah, the bicycle shop. Oh, this guy again. Hello, creeper. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, fuzzy pickles, fuzzy pickles. Yay, wow, what a great photograph. They'll always bring back the fondest of memories for me in my layer of darkness. Did you see that creepy man there, ma'am? I see that you're young, but have had some adventures. I think that Paige would be a good friend for you. Ah. Gotta watch out for those cars. I'm not looking both ways. This is the cycle shop. Puncture. Bicycles are so much fun and are so convenient. It's a lot faster than walking, man. You'll be really popular with the biking crowd and look at all these great accessories. So, do you want a bicycle? Unfortunately, we don't have any more bikes for sale. We only have rentals. No, I don't want to rent a bike. Mm, I don't know. No, apparently neither of us know how to ride a bike. I do know how to ride a bike. I just don't want to pay for a rental. It's Mr. T! I saw some weird bad guy following Paige. This guy gave me the creeps. You should knock him out. Well, yeah, let's look at the map of this town, actually. So, we got some big houses up there. And then the hospital. Oh, wait, that's the drugstore? Whoa, that's right. Ona has a huge. or Tucson has a huge department store. Hello, is anybody home? If you're not, I'm gonna ruffle through your stuff. Dad and Mom have left for Happy Happy Village. They wanna meet with the founder of the religion there. Huh. Happy Happy Village. Wonder who lives there. Sounds like a great place to go. Hello, is anybody in this house? What about you? Did you know that two young inventors live in this town? I want to invent something too someday. Don't we all? Don't we all? Wonder where her parents are. Maybe they joined Happy Happy Village too. Maybe it's a nudist colony or something. Right, that's the hospital. The Runaway Five at the Chaos Theater. We'll go check that out soon. Actually, you know what? Before I go to the department store, I want to find a page. That way we can see, uh... Because I know we're going to recruit her. I want to know. That way we can see what gear works on her. Tonight, the boogie is back. It's the Runaway Fives night. If I had some connections, I could waltz right in. 
but I'm just a regular Joe. Now, I'm not talking to you, buddy. Let me speak to your lady pal here. I love standing in a queue. I also love words that start with Q. Queen, quiet, quick. Just love how it rolls off the tongue. I'm starting a line here. I want a ticket for today's show, but I might not get it. This place is tough to get into. I guess I lost my ticket, so now I can't get in, dang it. The ticket counter at the department store was even sold out. Hey, officer. You want to see Poochie Fudd, the manager? Right through this door, then. You better have some talents, too. Don't waste a boss's time. The Runaway Five owe me a lot of money, pal. They'll stay here until they pay me back, too. They might be here for a hundred years or so. Unless you decide to pay off their debt, that is. <laughs> How much would it cost? Let's give me a price point here. I might be a kid, but this backpack could be stuffed with money. If you want to play the game, pal, you gotta give me a price. Hello, please present your ticket. I don't have one. So we need to find a ticket for the Runaway Five, apparently. We, that's right, we are the Runaway Five. We're popular, but not rich. We're being cheated by this theater, and we're really deep in debt. How deep? We may be popular, but that girl who lives at the house with the preschool is the real talk of the town. I want to see her someday. Maybe write a song about her. Do you play some sports? If you do, that's fine by us. Tucson Athletic Committee. Hmm. Farewell, Mr. Henster. I may have $50 in my pocket, but I'm not giving it to him. If you have time to read this, go to the Chaos Theater immediately. The next plot point lies there. Hello, is anybody home? If you're looking for Venus's house, it's next door. This house? Venus? No. My daughter left for the big city to become a superstar. She's using the stage name Vane? Oh, oh Vane something. She's working hard. She's not really Vane, though. Hello? Hmm. It doesn't feel right to sort through their belongings. Mostly because they're home. Okay. Um. Wait, is this the building I'm looking for? I think it might be right here. Yeah. Pole Star Daycare, right there. Coming through. Hello, pal. Paige isn't here. She suddenly left, and I don't know where she went. What? I had a dream, though. She was calling me. Well, I wanted to play with Paige, but she's gone somewhere. What do you mean? When I grow up, I want to be just like Paige. Good luck. Paige is like a mother to me. You may not be able to comprehend my emotions. I might have a baby face. But I possess the mind of an adult. I beg your pardon. If you say so. Whistle. Whistle anywhere. It makes me smile all the while. I'm Paige's mother, and I'm busy taking care of these kids. You shouldn't worry about Paige, though. She has a guardian angel, it seems. Well, it doesn't mean we can't look for her, or worry about her. So, you want to see Paige. Many come here to see her miraculous powers, but they're just leeches. So, are you from a TV station or what? No. To meet you or not to meet you can only be decided by Paige herself. She has said that she would only meet with a boy named Plump. So, you're Plump. You're the one that was in Paige's dream. You will save the world, according to her. Let me go call her. Is she really? I thought she left. Maybe that's just a cover story. She doesn't seem to be here. I wonder where she went. I'm sorry. Could you come back later? Maybe she just went for a walk. Let me check her room. Maybe there's some clues here. A teddy bear inside. Teddy bears will die for you. I'm gonna leave that one there, though, for now. Primarily because I'll probably try to grab it later, and I don't want to free up any inventory space just yet. Okay kids. Don't worry. I'll find Paige wherever she is here. Hmm. Let's see. I guess I'm gonna 
We'll search these two houses here. Ooh, the pizza shop. Is this mock pizza by chance? Welcome to mock pizza. We don't sell pizza here. We only deliver it. Let me give you our number so you can place an order sometime. Remember, the best pizza is mock pizza. The number is 8675309. You got that? I got it. I'll keep it in mind here. Ooh, a bus station. I'm thinking about catching a bus to Threed. I heard there are ghosts along the way, though. I wonder if the bus will have to turn around and come back. I hate ghosts. People in Happy Happy Village are fanatical about a strange religion. Maybe they've got some sort of bad fever. You better be careful. If you go to the east, you could run into trouble, pal. Peaceful Rest Valley and Happy Happy Village are waiting for you. I've also heard that there are UFOs in the Peaceful Rest Valley. Can you believe it? UFOs? I don't buy it. I hear that a girl named Paige was kidnapped while helping out at the Pole Star Preschool. Well, what else did you hear? Which way did she go? I think she went this way. Um, however, I'm not going to go explore that route just yet. Hmm. I still want... Yeah, because we're going to go by the, um department store and do some shopping too. Hello kitty. Meow. I have a lot of old broken junk, but I hate to throw anything away. If you have a friend who's knowledgeable about mechanics, that person might be able to fix something for you overnight. Man, a friend like that would be so handy. They would. Fortunately, we don't have one yet. I've told you a thousand times. I won't join the happy happy religious group. If you get pushy with me, I'll pelt you with peanuts. Now leave. Apple Kid. And Orange Kid up there. That's right. I am a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. Okay, mouse. Well, I have sort of neglected doing my housework. I know it's a bit of a pigsty, but anyway, I'm Apple Kid. I haven't taken a bath in quite a while, so I may be kind of stinky. By the way, I'm starving. Do you have something to eat? Uh, yeah, we do. Um, you know what, I'll give him a hamburger. We're going by the department store anyways. Thanks, you do seem nice. Uh, I wonder if maybe you would like to invest some money in my inventions? Huh. Right, I think you can invest with both of these guys. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, excuse me, I mean thank you. By the way, I could really use $200. I don't have $200. Well, go ahead and make yourself comfortable anyway. You can flop down anywhere. Is there anything in here? Well, let's see. A broken machine inside. Oh, I didn't... I didn't want to take that. I don't have anybody who can fix it. So let's see Orange Kid. Hello, Orange Kid. Greetings. I'm Orange Kid, the inventor. Have you heard of me? I'm a bit embarrassed about my reputation. I have a lot of inventions and development, but I'm running short of cash. I'm basically a happy-go-lucky person, though, so I'm not too worried about it. You know, I'm working on this machine. That would really help you in peaceful Rest Valley. I hope it's ready soon. What? You're actually willing to help finance the project? Sure. Oh, goody. Would it be okay to get $200 to buy materials? No. I guess I was just too hopeful. Oh well, never mind. Okay, so... I don't know who to fund here. I, if I'm not mistaken, I think one of them is worthless, the other one is... not? I'm not sure. That stupid slob, the Apple Kid, always asks me for something to eat. He's the inventor, he should invent some food for himself. I'm nuts about this one kid inventor. No, not that air-headed, dweeby Apple Kid. I'm talking about the incredibly hot orange kid. Okay. The simple fact that I know this game, the way it uses reverse psychology and stuff, kind of. Just the way the game is, I think I should probably help Apple Kid. Oh boy. Oh man. No, I'm not I'm not gonna go fight that just yet. That looked like an angry hippie or something like that. This isn't a combat video, this is a wonder, let's wonder around Tucson video. 
Berglund Park. I'm not going in there just yet. I think we can do some shopping there. It's like a, a swap meet, but we'll pass until I shop here. Hello, everybody. This department store isn't crowded, you know. I like that. Plenty of room to breathe and walk around. I always feel much better after hearing my mom's voice over the phone. I was really homesick recently and my mom cheered me right up. You should call your mom sometime. Believe me, those melancholy feelings will be gone before you know it, pal. Maybe we will have to. Just let mom know what's going on. No, I don't want to return anything. Oh, that's good. Please stop by again. Do you want to buy a ticket for the runaway fire? Yeah, I do. The main floor and balcony seats are sold out. We only have box seats, which cost $20. Would that be okay? Oh, wait. Those sold out a long time ago, too. Oops, my mistake. The box seats are the most popular. Dang it. Okay, well... I guess we'll have to find a ticket another way. I heard a meteorite crashed onto a hilltop near Onet. That must have been exciting. It wasn't. It Well, yeah, it kind of was. It was also annoying. I was trying to sleep. I think that my grandchild is older than you. He's a famous inventor, you know. He lives here and people call him Orange Kid. He seems to be popular with the girls, too, because he's... Groovy? Radical? Something like that. Let's see. Burgers. The bakery. Yum. I'm eating a skip sandwich. It makes you want to start skipping. I saw it on a TV ad and I just had to try one. I'll bet I can really move after eating this. Well, I think I'm going to hang on to mine for now. Because that is still a lot of money. I want to visit my boyfriend in three, except the bus won't go there. I wonder why. I heard it had something to do with ghosts and poltergeists. That teddy bear they sell over there. I heard it helps in battle. I don't know what they're talking about, though. It looks like a plain old teddy bear to me. Happy Happy Village is getting to be more and more blue. Do you get it? Well, do ya? And then he runs and throws himself out that window there. Okay, where's the ATM? Here it is. The automatic teller machine. I'm gonna withdraw a lot of money here. Um, in fact, I'm gonna withdraw $800. Because I'm probably going to piss a bunch of it away on Orange Kid and Apple Kid. Hello there. What are you selling? A frying pan, a slingshot, a cheap bracelet. Okay, we're going to buy the slingshot. Um, yeah, let's sell... Man. Wait, let's sell the t-ball bat. Since I'm going to be buying a replacement for it. Let's buy something. We'll buy the wonderful slingshot. Sure. Go ahead and put it on. Up to 36. Nope, we're good. Hello, ma'am. Hi. Can I help you? What are you selling? Wow, teddy bears are expensive. No thanks, I'm fine. You're a loser. Just because I wanted to say hi. You don't gotta be so mean. Jeez, I'm just a kid. What are you selling, Mr. Bakery Dude? Cookies, skip sandwich, lucky sandwich. I think that helps with critical hits. If you wanna, if you're trying to smash something. Uh, no, we're good. Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna deposit some of this money. I thought there would be more things to to buy here, but there's not. Whoops. No, I don't want to withdraw. Gotta be careful here. Sometimes these menus, yeah, they, I kind of expected it to make me press A to bring up the options here, but sometimes A does not do that. Okay. Let's see, how much... You know what? Yeah, I'll keep $85 on me, because there might, there might be something in Burglin Park to buy. Then again, there might not be. And no, I'm I'm not gonna spend a dollar. Forget it. I'll wait till I go back to the uh, the hotel. Okay, next stop. 
Actually, let's swing by the hotel. Whoa. Don't you cars slow down when there's a kid in the road? I mean, jeez. Um, let's call Mom. Is that you, Plump? You called me back sooner than I thought. Everyone here is doing just fine. Oh, yes, Tracy started working part-time for Escargo Express, too. Here, I'll let you talk to her. And just call me whenever you have some time. Oh, what? You don't have any free time? Well, here's Tracy. Hello, sis. Hello, this is Escargo Express. Oh, it's you, big bro. It's me, Tracy. I'm working part-time for Escargo Express now. So, what can I do for you? I want you to pick some stuff up. Yeah. Okay. So, I want to drop off this broken machine because it's going to be a while. P Paige! Where are you? It's time for a yummy piece of pie. Oh, Is that her dad? Poor guy. We're going to have to help find Paige soon. God, that scared me for a second. Hello, this is Escargo Express. Your delivery charge is $18. Yeah, I can cover the bill. Jeez, I didn't know it would take that much. Okay, take... Um... Take the broken machine. No, just that. Let me just confirm your request. You want me to take the broken machine? That is correct. I swear, if you lose or break that broken machine, there's going to be hell to pay. Okay, next stop. How about Berglund Park? Whoa, shit. That was close. I need to duck under the mirror there. <sighs> I swear, people just talking on their cell phone while they drive. Hey, the boss of Berglund Park is ever dread. He's got ties to burglaries and kidnappings in this area, though. He's a scary guy. And Tucson doesn't have a police force. Everdread has always watched over Berglund Park. That's why we don't have to bribe any crooked cops. Are there crooked cops around here? I was just talking about them. I came to buy condiments. I wonder what would be good. The right condiments makes a dish taste better, while the wrong one makes it taste worse. If the condiment matches the food, You'll get more power than if you ate the food item plain. That's right. Okay, let's see. How much do condiments cost? Would you like some seasonings? They're really quite miraculous. Whenever you eat something, the seasons will sprinkle automatically. They come in these cute little packets and jars. So what kind do you like? Hmm. Ketchup, I'm almost positive, would go good with a hamburger. Hot sauce would also go good with a hamburger. I'm not going to buy anything, though. I don't have enough inventory space to just fill it up with condiments. It makes me feel good to just sit and look at my pots. I like pots, but what I really want is the tool shop for sale sign. It's right there. Should I steal it? Maybe when he's not looking. I sell fresh eggs. They're nutritious. Please buy this beautiful, beautiful egg. Okay, I will. You're concerned about your health, even though you're young. That'll be 12 big ones. Okay. Okay, here you are. One egg to go. Eggs are good because if you carry them around, they eventually hatch into chickens that you can sell. I own an antique shop. No one is buying or selling anything, though. So I was thinking of selling the for sale sign that sits in front of me. It's only $98. I need more money. I bet you'll regret not buying it, probably. It's probably a plot device thing. I like to sell my goodies on the street. Sure, flies land and shit on them, but in my opinion, it makes them taste even better. So what would you like? Nothing. You guys don't have an ATM around here, do you? Hello, ma'am. Would you like some bananas? I said, hey kid, do you want to buy some? No. Well, when you want to eat bananas, I'll be here selling them. They're probably good in battle or something like that. Hey, why don't you buy the world's greatest ruler? It's a ruler. What, do you think it's hot? Look, I didn't steal it, come on. I don't care what that kid wrote on it. Hey, Mon, you got to expand your mind and use this stuff creatively. Come on, buy some of my junk, Mon. So what would you like? Well, honestly, none of it. Broken spray can, a broken iron. Oh, a 
copper bracelet. Man, is there anything else you need, Mon? No. A scientific Mon might be able to make good use of this here thing, Mon. Really? What are you doing? <laughs> Why don't we chat later after we've locked horns? Crap. Ever dread attacked. I did not know we were gonna be fighting him. Okay. He's attacking 32 hit points of damage. We're gonna use a shield here. Yay, protected by the shield. Then let's eat a hamburger. And then we're gonna dump all of our psi attacks on him. Okay, Everdread. You trying to burgle burgle us and steal from our backpack? I don't think so. He did! He stole a hamburger, that son of a bitch. Okay, Everdread, I want that burger back. Don't you dare bite it! You jerk. Only 16 damage? At least our shield is holding up. Get that burger out of your mouth. Okay, awesome. 986 experience. It's a good chunk. Well, yeah, I'm Everdread, boss of Burglund Park. When I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle, man. Anyway, I lost and nothing will change that. You know, you're pretty strong for a kid. Yeah, I know that you want to find out about a girl named Paige. She went off to a secret hideout in the peaceful Rest Valley, though. A chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit have kidnapped her, though. They said that they were going to make Paige some sort of human sacrifice. They were definitely hardcore strange. You know, she might be gone already, cut up, sent to the big beyond. You'd better hurry. If you save Paige, though, be sure to come back here, okay? Don't forget. Okay, I won't. Of course, Everdread isn't a good person, but he's actually quite warm-hearted for a crime boss. That's the best type of crime boss. Okay. So, um... We're gonna do a little bit more shopping here. Yeah, because I need to withdraw... Just... Oh, goodness. Watch out! Oh, shoot! You blocked me in and we both got slammed into... Okay. I want to buy that, that um, for sale sign. Account currently shows a balance of $901. Awesome. Um... Man... Let's see. Okay, the thumbstick kind of bounces around. <laughs> yeah, we'll draw that. Have 150. 98 of it. Did you hear that? No way. There's no way that that already hatched. It did. A chick. A chick that just hatched. Well. I did not know that they would hatch that quick. Now we have to wait for it to grow up. And then we can butcher it and turn it into tasty chicken bits. Chicken fingers. Chicken legs. Chicken breasts. All of the delicious stuff. Okay, where's that for sale sign? I own an antique shop. Yeah, you better just sell me your sign, buddy. Go ahead and sell it. Okay. If you want to sell something, use this for sale sign. Customers will flock to you. Um, actually, you know what? I just forgot. I need to go withdraw 200 more dollars or 400 more dollars for those two goofus inventors. I'd forgot about them. My mind got distracted. It makes me feel good to just set and... Um... Can I, can I use this? Plump used the first sell sign. A customer is heading this way. What? Huff, huff, wheeze. I ran here as fast as I could. I'm plumb tuckered out, though. So what have you got for sale? A chick. I'll give you $12. How's that for a fair offer? No. That's too bad. Nope, that's it. Oh, say it ain't so. And after I ran here as fast as I could. So, <laughs> I forgot that we could sell stuff with that for sale sign. Look, I bought this for you. Well, forget it then. I did not know that... I had completely forgot about that. That is hilariously awesome. This game has all types of weird quirks like that, and that's amazing. Wait, go away, crazy dog. What are you doing? What did wait, did you hear that? 
It's already grown up. A chicken. A real live chicken. Don't eat it, please. Oh, come on. I just want some chicken fingers. That's it. That's all that I want. Okay. We're going to withdraw $400 here. That's a huge amount. I probably should not give this. I don't see. I don't know who I should invest in. I really think that Orange Kid is a ripoff. Maybe, maybe Apple Kid just needs a chance. Maybe money really is his only obstacle, and maybe perhaps a bit of his laziness and his untidiness and his stinkiness for sure. Okay, we're gonna first invest with Apple Kid though. Hello, Stink Breath. Seems like you're expecting something from me. Maybe you would like to invest some money in my inventions first? Yes, I would. Oh, please don't breathe on me. Okay. There you go. There's $200. Wait, Mouse, where are you going? I am a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. You took care of my master. In return, I want to give you this. Please take it and say nothing. What is it? We got the receiver phone. Oh, I must be in your way. Wait, what's this do? Okay. I'd forgotten what this does. Let's see. Receiver phone. Apple Kid's invention. Now you can receive important calls. Well, that's nice. Now this money, I'm going to go piss away on Orange Kid. He will probably invent something completely worthless. Greetings, I'm Orange Kid, the inventor. Have you heard of me? I'm a bit embarrassed, of course. Yes, here's your money. You better not spend it on hair gel and fancy clothing. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm willing to finance the rest of the project. $200, there you go. I worked hard for this money, so you better spend it wisely. Your support should have a tremendous impact on all mankind. Let me give you my new Super Orange Machine. I call it Suporma for short. Aha! You have too many items. I hope you'll accept the Suporma even if you have to toss some of your food. I will. Okay. I need to get rid of some of these items. Give me the Suporma. Yes. Here we go. Please use it for spreading peace and goodwill on Earth. I need to go sell the chicken, too. What's this do? Orange Kid's Invention. The full name is the Super Orange Machine. I don't know what it does. I guess that we will be finding out eventually, though. Okay, next stop is... Hmm... Let's see... You know what, I'm gonna run all the way back to the hotel here. Hey, wait, there's Paige's dad. But Paige is not home yet. Ever dread in Berglund Park might know something. Oh boy, now I'm really worried. Okay, so first stop, I guess. I should have followed Ever dread into his house, but... I was worried about that dirty hippie attacking me. There we go. Hello, Ever dread If you save Paige, be sure to come back here, okay? Come on, Everdred, I was hoping you had some information on her. Uh, you know what, let's... Let's sell the chicken here. Hmm, a customer is heading this way, yes. Chickens for sale. Get your chickens, I saw your sign, so I thought I'd stop by. What are you peddling? A chicken. Hmm, 110? Sounds good to me. Sir, that it well it was well worth it because that should probably pay for my visit to the um, hotel up here. I had to go the long way around because there was a crazy person down there, and I'm trying to avoid them because I don't know how difficult they are. I should probably find out, but our next stop is Peaceful Rest Valley. However. Um, first let's stay at the inn. Cost you $50? Yeah, that's half a chicken. I guess it's worth it. Plump! I'm Paige. Can you hear me calling you? You have to help me! 
come and help me? I don't know where I, where I am, though. I can hear water running in the distance. Plump, please help me. Okay. I have to, because... It's really hard to get any sleep with her constantly whispering in my ear like that. How about reading the newspaper before you go? Here's this morning's Tucson Tribune headline. The brave local hero named Plump who broke up the sharks has left Onet. Reports that the mayor stopped the sharks have been proven to be false. Poor mayor. I thought I sold that chicken. Okay, we'll save it. We'll call Dad. Let him know how we're doing. Taking away what we've spent, we should now have 406. What are you, where are you spending all your money, my boy? Your bank account's been cut in half. I hope you're not wasting it. Your dear old dad was also thinking about hitting the hay. Well, I am too. And in the next video, we will hopefully be able to go rescue Paula. But the uh, valley might prove too tough. And we may be forced to grind for a little bit. We'll see, though. Who knows how things will turn out.